the book of Genesis, we come across intriguing passages that mention the term alien not once, but twice. In Genesis 17, 8, God asks, Where are you now, alien? And in Genesis 19, 9, it is said, This fellow came here as an alien. A thought might arise. Why did God specif, Ikeley choose the word alien, instead of using the more common term, foreigner? By examining these instances closely, we can uncover deeper meanings behind this choice. Perhaps God purposely emphasized the word alien to convey an important message to his people. The term foreigner suggests someone from another land, while alien carries a sense of otherness and detachment. It hints at a sense of displacement or being unaccustomed to the surroundings. God's intentional use of alien in these verses prompts us to ponder the significance of this condition. Could it be that God wanted us to see ourselves as spiritual aliens, residing in a world that is not our ultimate home? By demonstrating His awareness of our feeling, like strangers in this world, He assures us of His understanding and empathy. Let us recognize that we are all spiritual aliens called to navigate a foreign land, seeking our true home in God's eternal kingdom. May these passages invite us to reflect on our own sense of alienation and find solace in knowing that God is by our side, guiding us through this transient existence.